Hello folks, welcome to BISPtrainings.com. My name is Amit and today I'm going to show you Tableau case study number 109 in which we I'm going to demonstrate you how to create sets. So let's see the formal definition set and uh, we'll see how to design it. So set is basically uh, a collection of members, okay? collection of your subset of your data which is based on common some condition. A set can be based on computed condition as well. Uh, you may be familiar with the writing un set operator in your select query. You have union intersection. Similarly, we create a set over here. It's a essentially subset of data. Uh, you may be having some condition based on that. You can uh, group your members. To make it easy to understand, we are going to create two sets. Let's see what it is. We are going to work on a data model publish a data model which we have been working for last several days. So my set one is I need a list of publishers who published their books in 2002 where sales is greater than 300,000. So I am I'm going to filter out the publisher out of all publisher. I need only those publisher which meet this criteria. I'm going to create another set where I'm going to display all the publishers Second set is list of publisher who published their books in 2001 and the content of book they published was more than 100 books. Book count is more than 100 in, in the year of 2001. If you look at this, uh, I've taken a snapshot of set. You create two independent set, two, three or n number of sets. You can further combine them and you can use these common operator like I have a set one and set two. I can use a union. I can use the intersection a minus b, b minus a. We use a minus in, minus clause in some query language, some query, or we use a except operator. Similarly, the similar kind of thing you do in writing SQL query. We are going to do the same thing without writing a SQL query. So let's get started. I'm going to start with connecting to my data source. I'll just like to remind you. We are going to use this data source library model to make it easy to understand. I keep only one fact table and only three dimension. One of my dimension is further normalized to region. Okay. I've taken a subset of my entire data model just to focus on the actual business requirement. So let's connect to this data source and prepare a report. I connect to data source and my data source is MS Access. I select MS Access and I select connect to my library data mart. In this model, I need only one fact table. My fact table is sales fact table, sales order, and I have a dimension called period days, product, stores, and region. I'll be selecting those dimension and fact. Start with sales fact, then select other dimensions like product, time, stores, product, region, product this time and period days. I have a multiple time dimension, uh, period days, period month. The period days, the granularity of period days is day ID. It means we are capturing days transaction for each date. So I got one fact table and four dimension. Actually there are three dimension. One is further normalized. So I actually build the model exactly the way it is given to me in my requirement sheet. That's it. You can preview the data as well before you proceed further to ensure that all the selection you made yielding some report, some data. Okay. You see that all the joinings are taken automatically by reading your underlying metadata, the system, your tableau reads what are the respective keys, foreign key and primary key and accordingly forms a join. That's it. I'll be connecting live and let's focus on the first query. In the first query, I'm going to write a set where I need a list of publisher who published their books in 2002 and the book sales amount was more than $300,000. So, Let's get started. I need a publisher name. 
publisher name I can find it over here under my publisher dimension under my product dimension you see I have a, a product publisher name a simple drag and drop in my rows then I need a book name which book they have published publisher name and which book they have published and my criteria consists of where sales should be greater than 300,000 for the year publisher year is 2002 so I apply filter on publisher year uh, I have a publisher year over here I apply in a filter I have data for 2001 and 2002 let's focus for 2002 and I'll apply filter on my sales sales should be a dragon or place sales over here should be greater than 200,000 so I filter it out click on filter and change it I need a data between 200,000 to 600,000 right okay apply and okay so the list of publishers you see over here meet the criteria sales are greater than 300,000 for the year of the publisher year is 2002 let's get a set of it simple select all the publisher name the set operator click on set click on create set and name it you can name you can name it anything I'm going to give a set number one you can give a more business meaningful name I use generic name over here then I create another set set number two list of publisher who published more than 100 books in 2001 I'm going to create set two in another sheet though it is not required not mandatory you create in another sheet you can use the same sheet for the sake of simplicity I'm connecting into another sheet so that we can easily compare the data so list of publisher who published more than 100 books in 2001 so I'll do the same thing I'll display list of publisher publisher name publisher name and who published more than 100 books so I'll place book name but this time I apply count on top of that because we want to find out more than more than uh, 100 books so I see list of publisher number of books they publish for publisher year 2001 I can use the publisher year over here we have publisher year apply filter for 2001 I'm not sure whether we have data or not let's check yes we have data and we further apply filter more than 100 books so I filter on my book count I say more than 100 apply and OK so this is a list of all the publisher which meet this criteria which publish more than 100 books in the year of 2001 now I have got two independent set let me save this set set 1 and set 2 let's publish this create set I'll select all the publisher name click create set name it set 2 that's it I got two set you could see there are two sets available I create another sheet and place both the set together set 1 and set 2 set 1 and set 2 let me check that it is common or not so what I do I'll just swap the order of my I go to edit set first book name is coming I'll make display publisher name first so that we can compare records are common I could see the common set automatically appearing alternatively you can right click create new or you can select both the sets and create a new set right click create a combined set set 1 and set 2 create combined set I can use a union it means it's a union all basically display all the sets all the publisher name who meet both the criteria it list of all the publisher who published their book in 2002 with the sales more than 300,000 and publish more than 100 books if I use intersection it will display only those records which are common between both the sets I could also use A minus B set 1 minus set 2 and set 2 minus set 1 right I can use accept clause so depends upon what exactly you need you can apply set 
I click on common records between both the sets say OK I got another set I can simple drag and drop at a set over here so these are a list of publisher who meets both the criteria together I can further create a more computed column over here I can see the total sales done by all the publisher which meet this criteria this way you can write a basic to complex expression using set so that's it for today I made a simple example using set subscribe to our YouTube channel in upcoming session I'm going to show you more complex example of working with set thanks for joining today's session and have a great day ahead should you have any question please feel free to visit our site www.bsptrainings.com